Today, Peaches Geldof's husband, Thomas Cohen, had to face the cameras for the first time since finding his wife dead at the home they shared. Having already been through more than most 23-year-olds, Cohen listened as a coroner ruled that a drugs overdose had killed the mother of his two children. After detectives found nearly seven grams of heroin hidden at their home and drugs paraphernalia surrounding her body. Although her husband admitted the TV presenter had been a heroin addict in the past, Peaches had told Cohen her weekly drugs tests showed she was clean. When the coroner asked, is it right that you now think she may have been making up that the drugs tests were clear? Cohen replied, yes. Peaches had, her husband said, stopped taking heroin for two and a half years. But in February this year, Thomas Cohen said it was here at the couple's Kent mansion where he found text messages on his wife's phone which to him suggested she may have relapsed back into addiction. When he confronted Peaches about this, she confessed she had in fact been stashing heroin in the family loft. The same home where two months later, Peaches Geldof's body was found with her youngest son in a nearby room. Friends who knew Peaches said she had struggled with addiction for years. There was the incident where she, she, had a, she overdosed at home and an ambulance had to be called and she did nearly die. And then she went out to Los Angeles um, and, and her father, Sir Bob Geldof, said, if, if you're not sorted out when you come back, you're going to rehab. This picture with her mum, Paula Yates, was the last she posted online, having lost her to a heroin overdose. Today, the coroner said this wasn't entirely a case of history repeating itself. Peaches had beat her addiction in the past, but he added, we may now never know why she went back. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.